I often find it frustrating looking at all the abstract concepts that people use to look at Scripture, and I seek to find more concrete terms and understandings in Yahweh's Word. For he has said that a child will understand. So today I have taken the phrase Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, and using the Hebraic mindset, coupled with the original Paleo-Hebrew, I search out or sefer the tangible meaning of the words in their simplest forms. This is not to take away from the advanced meaning of the words, but to provide a solid footing that we can stand on in our understanding. Here is an etymological dictionary definition. Ruach, or in English, spirit. Now the dictionary defines this as to breathe, blow, to be wide, be spacious, to air, ventilate, space, interval, wind, breeze, air, breath, soul, spirit, side, quarter, courage. The next word begins with a hey, and that is the definite article. In English, we would translate it as the. The word kadosh can mean to be holy, to be sanctified, set apart, and temple prostitute. So looking at the words and using the more concrete terms, we can see that ruach is related to the movement of air and unseen things. It can also be the breath that comes from the mouth when speaking. We know that from Scripture that Yahweh spoke the earth into existence. So the concept of Ruach is that of Yahweh's word in action. Next we look at Kadosh and can see that this word has much more meaning than holy. In this case, it means good and evil things. When taking it out of its abstract understanding and connecting it to the broader dictionary definition. Now when we put the two words back together with the hey, it becomes active spoken words that are set apart for a purpose. And we know from context who the words are from and what purpose they are to accomplish. His words are what he provided to us in the Bible, and he outlines his instructions for us to follow in his Torah. To follow the Ruach HaKadosh, we must keep and do Shomar, his commandments. I think it could also be said that the Ruach HaKadosh is a description of what Yahweh did during creation. Another way to look at it is that the written Torah is simply words on paper. They have no life of their own, but when a person reads them and then acts them out, that is when they become alive. That is the Ruach HaKadosh. Hebrew is a very action-based language, and when we come at it from a thought-based language, we often end up stuck in abstract ideas with no clear meaning. Anyone can have Yahweh's Ruach, as it is an action, a choice, a decision that we make. After all, his Torah is free to all, but we have to walk it out. As soon as a person reads and hears the Torah, and then does it, they have the Ruach of Yahweh. And now to look at the Paleo-Hebrew. Ruach. Resh is the head of a person, and it represents the authority and character of a person. Vav is a nail, and it is used to secure. Chet is a fence. So the Ruach is the authority of a person put into clear boundaries. So after a person speaks, their words become fixed and cannot be changed. They remain exactly as they were spoken. This also shows us the courage aspect of the word, because it takes courage to stand by the word and not waver from it. He is to be revealed. In this case, the word kadosh is being revealed by the word ruach. Kuf is the sun on the horizon or the back of a head, and it means something that is secular. Dalet is a door, and its function is a decision. Sheen is teeth, and it can mean divide, separate, or destruction. So the word kadosh contains a kuf that means a continual activity, and sheen that means destruction, separated by delet, a decision. Comparing that to the dictionary definition, we can see the set-apart concept of the word showing up in the paleo word picture. 
On one side, we have Yahweh's Moedim, and on the other side, we have a temple prostitute. Both have been set apart for purpose. One leads to death, and the other leads to life. The choice is in who we choose to set ourselves apart for. This is represented by the door in between. You cannot have it both ways. You must pick a side. Looking at this together, we have a person speaking words that once spoken do not change, and the results of which are revealed when the words are acted upon, producing either continual life or separation and destruction. If it is Yahweh's Ruach, then it is His words, the Torah, that are spoken. His words that never change and result in the Kuf, from the Kadosh, as seen by His Moedim, and the result is eternal life for those that keep it. Whereas, if it is any other person's Ruach, it is like following a temple prostitute. Their Moedim will be that of the Sheen, from Kadosh and will result in destruction and separation from Yahweh.